Naval Ravikant may be one of the best investors in crypto or at least one of the biggest with a decent size of portfolio that I would assume is above 100 million. So now in this video, we're going to dive in into what he invested in to see what mistakes he did, which project he chose well, what he is investing right now, and try to find some other elements in his thesis to know where he is going. And by the way, I think there's going to be few airdrops opportunities in some of the investment that we are going to see. Those are basically going to be free money. So be sure to stay until the end of this video. I have here a list of all the projects that receive an investment from Naval Ravikant. We can see that in the past 30 days, plus 100% globally on his investments, which is pretty much a good deal. We can see they invested in Avalanche, Avax, that's a killing, DYDX. And we can some other that are a bit less famous, but they're still here. Now, what I want to know is his full list of investment because he invested in 40 projects, 22% are DeFi, chain for 20%, blockchain service 22% and 36% here. Actually, there's one category of investment where it's going a bit heavier than others. And you should be careful about those as well because massive potential. We can see that he started to invest in some crypto project in 2014. Now everyone with a basic internet connection will know that in 2014, we didn't e even have Ethereum and Bitcoin was pretty cheap. So he invested in Corbit, probably this project never went anywhere. We get some stacks, we get some numerals, some Mina protocols, Darknet, Algorit, DYDX, and Starknet again. Now, no worries. I kept a track of all those projects. So we're going to see if he made money from it. Here, I have the 10 first investment that Naval did in crypto. And here, that's what happened to them. So first of all, when you are a venture capitalist or you're investing in some stuff like that, making money is a very good thing. Having something that do a 10x, that's crazy. But most of the time, everything will go to dust or zero. So if one do a 10x, that's magical. And then if you get more than that, if you get two that do a 10x, that's really good. And then if you even get more that get listed or the project actually happened, then you're doing something great. And on the data that we have, is doing something great. Because Stacks is still here with a fairly decent market cap of almost a billion dollars. We get Mina Protocol with 600 million, DYDX at 600 million. And we know that those projects when invested in October 2018, that's like the project was not even out. So maybe he cashed out around here, probably he cashed out a part of it. Can you imagine? I don't know exactly how much he had. I'm trying to get those information because I don't have his address and it's hard to know how much each person invested in those crypto. Maybe we will find one day. I will see if we get a community around with me, that's probably going to be easier. However, that's still a really good performance because three of those crypto are in the top 100. We are just talking about his 10 first investment and two other are in the top three, 400, which is decent. Now, if we check more, well, Avalanche, really good project, Near, really good, Instadap, Pretty fine. Alchemy, I don't know. Polymer, Siren, Faye, we know it was a success. Kina Protocol, Super Rare, Rare was a success. Agoric, we saw it before. Asex, so now it's a ton of new projects actually, you see. 2022, they are not out yet. So we don't know exactly what's happening. Sunscreen, Blowfish, Monad, Renegade. But we are going to study the last ones because I think it's something we can't miss. The last investment that Naval did was proof of play on the 21st of September. And August, we have Deform, but I checked Deform and it's actually just a normal SaaS product, I think, because we have a membership here. So I don't think we can expect to have a token, which means we can remove it from our research. And before I show you some other information where I think we could get some free airdrops of some nice tokens, we have to understand that proof of play for 33 million is his second biggest investment. The other one was in an NFT. Maybe it didn't went well. We don't know yet. 
but 33 million is sizable compared to the other ones. But first, let's dive in into Ambient. By the way, I didn't trade yet with it because I think that's an interesting protocol from what I read on it. Zero to one decentralized trading protocol, faster, easier and cheaper. We know that everything that's going to be DeFi and making trades decentralized because people don't want to use centralized exchange and governments don't want to have centralized exchange. So they can allow, actually, they don't understand this, but governments are literally shooting themselves in both feet and in their knees because all the crypto people are going to use decentralized exchange as centralized exchange are too complicated to have, too complicated to change money on it. So decentralized will make them having less information in the end. But anyways, Ambient is trying to solve some problems that have the concentrated liquidity, the ambient liquidity, and we have different things. So range order and limit orders. So basically bringing more functionalities and honestly, there's probably a project where it would be good to dive in a bit deeper. The investors, we get block tower, Jane Street, Tensei Capital. All right. What do we have? The pre-seed. Oh, we get handsome finance as well. Just kidding. This is a joke. I modified the page. I hope you like these jokes. If you did, you can put a thumbs up. If you're like, well, Antoine, you lied to us. Well, remember, you're watching a YouTube channel made by a comedian. So go in your home, wherever you find a mirror and ask yourself, what am I doing here? And I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You're finding opportunities. Number of followers on Twitter is only 16,000. So the project is fairly recent, fairly new. They don't have a token yet from what I saw, which means if you start to trade with them, you place few trades, you use them every two weeks, every month, you may have an airdrop when they release. And if you're good at history, you would remember that the airdrop of Uniswap, it was like 300 to $600 per person that just used it. So that's the beauty of crypto. We get rewarded when we test stuff. And that's why we will explore another project that will be really interesting soon. But first, I wanted to be sure to know what Naval is up to. So I took all his tweets that talk about Web3, crypto, blockchain, whatever is the topic of this channel. Asset inflation in two years for 2021. So of course, crypto was on the run here. Crypto 10x. So he likes crypto. We get Web2 user are the data, Web3 user own the data. That was the narrative that everyone said in 2021. We got used to that. Now we can still see some stuff happening here. He was still talking about Web3. And then I find one conversation that he had with Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum. And this conversation is a bit long. So I used an AI to summarize it. But basically what he talks about in here, it's a lot about decentralized exchanges. So we have AMM trades with Uniswap. Then we talked about a bit about the other chains. I mean, I say we, he did with Vitalik Buterin. They talked a lot about rollups. So that's layer two and everything that works on Ethereum to facilitate the transaction because something that was important for them was to be able to use it in gaming or more direct transactions. And those rollups help with this because Ethereum doesn't allow you to do transactions that will be fast enough to have video games on it. <coughs> Ethereum transactions have a latency of about half a minute, making it less suitable for real time application. Ethereum can be used for payment and other application, but may not be suitable for real time video game logic. Rollups and layer two solution offers ways to increase Ethereum transaction throughput and reduces cost. Ethereum focus on decentralization makes it attractive for high value application like decentralized finance DeFi. By the way, this was released in April 2022. So we know by reading this, that Naval and Vitalik are both looking at gaming and DeFi on Ethereum. So I know I did a video where I talk about what I think for GameFi, but I also say that what I think doesn't matter because it's the narrative and the story that will always win compared to the data 
in the short medium term. And I kept the best for the end, proof of play. By the way, we see that they raised 33 million, which means that actually it's not only Naval, but a group of people. We see A16Z, they are really good investors as well. And we can see that they didn't spend money on their website because probably this website cost, I hope, less than $1,000 to make because it's whack. However, we can see that the people behind the project, big, Zynga, Riot Games, Activision, they are veterans. Now they only have one game available, Pirate Nation. And apparently Pirate Nation is a pretty popular game because there is like 400,000 people in front of me waiting to play this game. Now I can try the demo and when you check the NFT you can see that the volume raised up. That's pretty rare like NFTs are normally quite dead dead but this one seems to be going back up. Graphics look simple yet nice honestly seems to be quite good quality. So now the most important question is what we will do with all this money. No but first like where we should dig in. All those projects that he invested recently because we know when Naval is going to be on the podcast and mention one of those projects is going to skyrocket. So I will place few trades on Ambient Finance to see first if it's good and then maybe we could get some airdrop. Also, I will try to get closer to proof of play because the gaming narrative seems to be getting bigger and bigger. And of course, people fantasize about making money while playing video games. I honestly don't think that's going to be the best way. However, I'm not the one who choose. We checked what he's investing in. We learned from him and we saw that he made tons of good investments. So if you were to replicate 10 investments of Naval in crypto, you know, based on what we saw, that a lot of them would be a success. Now, it's up to you to know what you want to do. Maybe you want to subscribe to this channel and I will welcome you and say thank you for that. And maybe you even want to put a thumbs up. Anyway, it was a pleasure to make this video. If you want to go further into this, I'm thinking about building a community where we have few people like me who like to do those kind of research and find the best project and like to make our money work insanely hard for us. So we make huge gains <laughs> and stay handsome. That's the, the main thing. Anyway, it was a pleasure. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. It would mean a lot to me. And you should check this video because it's been recommended by the incredible AI algorithm of YouTube. So YouTube know better what you need to watch. They know better than me. They know maybe better than yourself. Anyways, it was a pleasure. Stay handsome. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.